Hi, I'm Mike B from the Who Dares Rolls podcast, and this is Who Dares Rolls TV. And what better time of year than the sun is out and it's blistering hot and we're all indoors playing board games to discuss board games and most importantly, the single most exciting event that happens everywhere in the UK, which is the UK Games Expo. Huzzah! So the 2017 UK Games Expo, yes it's happening, it's now in its flirty bloody blur year. I, mm. um, but now, this year, a new edition, we have an app. Yes, so you can download the app from the Android store or from the iTunes store. Um, and it's a lovely natty little app that uh, has things like maps and uh, you can put your bring and buy stuff on there. Schedules, you can schedule yourself events, but all sorts of uh, itinerary on there. Keep a track of what's happening during your expo experience. Um, so. What, what what are you going to be doing at the expo is the question that we're going to be asking. I mean, 2016 was a bumper year that saw the show moving into the now prestigious NEC in the huge hall one. Um, well, they're back. They're in the hall again. Um, and, and it's going to be even bigger than last year. Um, just take a look at the map. Just how big is that? So if you've never been to the expo before, then let me tantalise you. Let me just convince you, which, you know, I'd say off the bat. Uh, if you are a fan of board games in any matter, in any way of this hobby, then you should be there. Um, but, as I say, I should tantalise you further, just in case you're on the fence, you're just wobbling, then allow me to give you a little shove off the edge. So, the Brigham Buy, the most single most exciting area. It's like a, a kind of sweaty thrift shop for board gamers. It contains everything from, from new releases to all sorts of stuff that people are offloading, like numerous hundred copies of Spot the Scandaroon. Um, but there is going to be heaps of stuff there. There's lots of stuff to rummage in. You may find that grail game you're looking for. It is a compressed, tight space. It can be a little sweaty and sticky at times. Um, so think of all your fellow gamers' health and hygiene standards and shower before visiting the Bring and Buy. But I strongly recommend going in there you may be able to nab yourself a bargain and it's always worth a bit of a rummage. We all like a good rummage. Um, what else is going on? <coughs> well, bringing back again is John Robertson's wonderful The Dark Room. If you've never been or witnessed or in any way involved in The Dark Room, um, it's, it's just worth a visit. Darren, you weak to find yourself in a dark room. Pick one of these four options, Darren. Go north. You proceed in the direction you believe to be north. How can you be sure you're in a dark room? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. There's tickets still available at this point in time. Uh, book yourself up some, go along and be entertained immensely. Um, Nightmare, live. That's happening. We love Nightmare. Remember the old show, boys with a helmet on the head in a completely awfully uh, green screened room? Well, that's back and live at the event. First time at this show this year. Um, again, tickets are available for said event. I strongly recommend booking yourself up some time and cracking along to that. Um, there's obviously a very jam-packed seminar schedule. Um, the Dice Tower is one of the uh, biggie names are there. And most importantly, and most excitingly, the Who Dares Rolls podcast will be performing a live show on the Saturday evening of our fantabulous Room 101, uh, or whatever we call it on the show. But yes, we'll be there putting some sacred cows and jamming some of our unwanted commodities into the... Uh, board game 101 and uh and i strongly um ask that you maybe turn up otherwise it's likely to just be me the boys and possibly phil the listeners sat in a room on our own be a bit awkward games that's have a think there's some games coming out of the show some to preview lots to see some to buy um now first up we have nimby which i happen to have a copy of this has been sent to me only in the last few days this was just hot off of kickstarter and it's a game of worker placement and new bumbly bees doing bumbly bee stuff it looks kind of cool um it has kind of a, a snowdonia vibe to it where the cards go around the board um not played it yet it's here it looks very cool there's a lot of content in this tiny little box uh that is available to buy at the show and it's one of our hot picks for you to keep an eye out. And as we're talking about stuff you can buy at the show from Kickstarter, then I absolutely, strongly, totally and unequivocally say Ghost All. Lovely, lovely game is Ghost All. Um, came out last year by Kickstarter. We reviewed it. We loved it to bits. Um, it's a really great game. Plays for families, kids, all the way up. Uh, lovely artwork. The best artwork of the year, 2016, according to Nate Bader, board game art. Um, but yes... I strongly recommend if you've got uh, the time, the effort, the money, go over there, find the ghost or guys from Tinkerbot and give it a go at play and then invariably you will be buying it. 
the subterra from in the box games is hopefully going to be released at the show i know for definite there is plans to have a immersive cave experience and there's a game of claustrophobic terror as you um, make your way through some caves and it's like a carcassonne tile placement with meeples running around i've played it it's very cool it's fast to play really entertaining um, i managed to play it at aircom any game gives you the opportunity to leave one of your poor friends stranded in the dark on their own in the cave but about to be eaten alive by something unpleasant is always a top 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 win for me so Mars is a popular subject at the moment. We've already had Terraforming Mars for Stronghold games. That's proved to be quite popular amongst some members of our groups. And also there is, of course, the very soon to be released First Martians for Portal games. However, there is one available at the show you can buy, which is um, a Pocket Mars, which is brilliant. It's from the lovely guys from Board and Dice who gave us last year it was a multi-universium, which absolutely fantastic art i love the art of the game that sold me on it with the jelly baby killer thingies um it's a good game not a multi-card use it's uh was cheap inexperienced proved to be really really popular the show last year for my money i suspect probably pocket miles is going to be very similar so yes what else is going on gloom of killforth um is going to be available by in probably limited capacity i don't think there's many copies around of this at the moment it's disappearing fast saw this at aircon the art is absolutely astounding on it it's kind of a uh mr ml gloom of killforth <laughs> it's uh it's a absolutely astounding piece of art in this game we saw it at aircon it looks incredible um and it's a game of you adventuring and questing um with a bunch of your buddies uh, all card based uh, I played it at Aircon really enjoyed the demo I had of the game I really liked what it was doing um, and it kind of captured that feeling of going off and questing and, and uh, messing around in the environment with lots of op options opportunities um, huge hit on Kickstarter is going to be available in very limited quantities at the show uh, so yes you probably want to have a look at that also while you're mooching around that stand they've also got their new Kickstarter game 1066 something of tears uh, there, there. That's there as well. City of Kings will be available to demo there from Frank West. Um, it's incredible. I, I reviewed it for him for the Kickstarter. It is the closest I have found to World of Warcraft, the board game. Um, astounding art. Absolutely, really, really great gameplay. Loved the game. It's off Kickstarter. I believe he's still taking pre-orders for the game. Um, and I, I can't recommend it enough. I absolutely loved it to bits. Um, it is, if you're a WoW well player or MMOs or any of that sort of stuff you've played and, and got your teeth into and you like that style of game this is the game for you um, and it comes highly recommended and frank's got some crazy ass ideas to do with the game as it progresses for the next few years go and check it out go and have a look at it and if you haven't already got a pre-order or did the kickstarter that's one for me that's my pick well that's it david tooks is going to be there now i met him last year and i got very excited about days of ire in fact so excited in fact that we uh, mugged off uh, tom vassal at one point so david's back and um he's bringing the finished version of Days of Ire, you will be able to buy it um, from the Mind Clash game stand, along with Anachrony, which is his uh, newer game, which is a worker placement time travel game. Both very cool, a very cool man, Mr. David. Uh, hopefully we'll catch you up at the show and do some vids for you. And um, yes, again, Days of Ire alone was astounding. Loved it last year when I played it. Um, huge hit on Kickstarter. Go and nab yourself a copy. Really recommended. Yeah, and so some of the big boys are going to be there. Um, Portal Games is in res residence this year. Um, they are bringing along a few things. They've got Alien Artifacts, which is their new card-based uh, 4X game. No, no, anyone on that. Sounds kind of cool. Interested? Let's find out what that's about. Obviously, he's going to have the demo copies of First Martians there to show off that just prior to its launch, I think at the end of the month. Um, and also, the first expansion of 51st State Master Edition is out, and it's exclusively first hit the ground at the expo so first opportunity to pick that up and savor that's cardi delights really enjoyed um 51st state master set brilliant stuff uh, if you're a fan of imperial settlers similar game but basically in a uh, post-apocalypse mad max world um go and check them out really good stuff portal games do produce some very exciting stuff and, and i will most certainly be sneaking around their stand well um, and then of course we've got the batman the board game uh, from the guys who gave us conan uh, it is a batman board game i love batman i am uh, i've collected batman for most of my life um, i'm very excited at the prospect of a batman board game there is not nearly enough if any superhero themed games that really capture the spirit of them so he is hoping they can pull it off with batman and i will be first in line to have a peek at that and of course, what visits to the expo would not be complete without a visit to 
everyone's favourite gaming uncle, Mr. Tony Boydow, and of course, Surprise Stare, Surprise Stare Games Stand, uh, where he will be showing lots of things. The, the new version of Snowdonia, a nice cup of tea, refeeming, looks kind of cool. Um, he will have, obviously, the usual standard Snowdonia promos, and maybe some other little delights and treats for us to have a look at. I strongly recommend going and see Uncle Tony, as long as he doesn't punch you in the face, it should be quite entertaining for you. And that is just a sliver, a peek at the delights that will be there this year. Um, and go and check out the website of the Expo website. I will provide links um, at the bottom of this video for other things, including the um, the BGG list of all the stuff that's coming out of the show. It looks very cool and um, uh, stuff, other stuff. And I'm really hot.